Hi. Come on in. Sorry. Come on in. How are you? Okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll take a look at you and see if we can figure out what the problem is. Okay? No problem. So, here we go. Tell me. Just confirm your name and address for me, please. Okay, so, um... I don't have your notes, unfortunately, but, uh... It doesn't mean that we can't, um... It doesn't mean that we can't do an examination. That's no problem at all. Um, I mean, I could use these notes, perhaps. Uh, no, what we'll do is we'll start with the symptoms and we'll take it from there. How does that sound? And I'll just turn these notes over and start some fresh ones. Thanks for understanding. That's great. Um... You don't, um, don't have a pen on you by any chance, do you? No, okay. Um, well, turning over the notes was perhaps a bit academic. Not to worry. I have a good memory. I can remember. Okay, I'll remember everything. Awesome. So, where shall we start? Let me put on some gloves, because there's every chance we'll be looking at your eyes and ears and things like that, okay? Just tell me a little more about what's brought you here today, because I'm shockingly bereft of notes. Okay. Okay, no problem. find one blue, so we'll have one black as well, but that's okay, they're both gloves. They both do the same job. They're just slightly different colours. Sorry about that. Okay, so, let me, blank sheet. Um, let's start by taking a look in your eyes, would that be okay? Let's flip this back because I don't want to forget to log these notes at the end. I mustn't be unprofessional about these things. So, I'd like to um, just start by shining a light in your eyes, is that okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is the light. Which eye first? You choose your choice. Why not? I could start in the middle and then just decide. How about that? Okay, so all you need to do is follow the light with your eyes, okay? Great, so let's start right in the middle. We'll go this way. Ah, oh, fantastic job. Well done. Good. It's like you've done this before. Back to the middle. Lights coming in, lights going out, lights coming in, lights going out. We'll start with this eye as we did last time, okay, so light comes in and out. 
in and out in and out good at least something's going right so in Excellent. Okay. So let's look at the backs of your eyes. Okay. Let me grab this one. Have you seen one of these before? Okay. Do you know how it works? There it goes. I don't need to get too close. I'm just going to see if I can get the reflection from the back of your eyes. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. And this one. Ready? Hmm. I could see the red reflected. It'd be quite scary in some other scenarios, I'd imagine. <laughs> so, I can't write it down. Eyes reacting beautifully. Pupils doing as they should. Red in the back of the eyes. Wonderful. Okay. So what I'd like to do next is take a look in your ears. Okay, that might help us either solve the puzzle or be able to take a few things out of the equation. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> tiny bit embarrassing. I don't have my otoscope. But, not to worry, I'm sure, instead of having a look, I can just have a feel. Is that okay? Fantastic. Right, so, this ear first. Please tell me if it's uncomfortable or if it's painful. It shouldn't be. I am very gentle. Okay, here we go. Do you have a little wax in your ears? I would know if I had the otoscope right. The side. Okay, well, I felt in your ears. I just feel around them. Is that okay? Lovely ears. I mean, it's we're no closer to solving the problem, but it all felt good to me. Can I feel the glands in your neck, please? Thank you. Nice and still for me. Again, if it's painful, tell me and I'll stop. Raise your hands or shout out. Something like that. Okay. Okay. They feel absolutely normal. So, eyes normal, ears normal, glands all okay. Let's see how things hear. Yeah? Okay, so um, I have this. like your lollipop for afterwards. Only if you're good, only if you're good. Okay, I know what this is. So, 
makes sense now. You need to see both parts, ideally. So what I'm going to do is strike this and then pass it to each of your ears. It is. Fantastic sound. Okay. And all you have to do is listen. So, nice easy one for you. Ready? Oh, missed. It's embarrassing. If you're asked how today went, don't mention that bit, okay? Here we go. Sounds great, right? Like it? This side. Switch hands. Come on. My hearing's great. Okay, so this time strike it, put it on your head. Ready? Oh, Let's take a quick selfie. It's okay, I won't, I won't share it with anybody, it's fine. So tell me, how did that sound? It sounded good. Same in both ears, most importantly. Okay, so. I'd like you to smell something for me. Tell me what the scent is, just to check everything. Nose, sinuses, things like that are working. Okay, is that all right? It's just one, and it's not too strong, okay? I have a selection to choose from. So, begin by cleansing the palate, cheers. Mm. Sure, you don't want some more? Give some water, something like that. Hmm. Okay, no problem. So, here we go. Little scent bottle. Oh, lovely. So, under your nose. So we might be starting to find out the problem again. Can you uh, identify that smell at all? Very interesting. No, so <laughs> it's frankincense. You know, it's a common smell. It's it should be readily identifiable, so I have to make a note that that may be a symptom. So, eyes are okay, little red eye at the back, which is great, ears are okay, you look hilarious with a tuning fork on top of your head, can't identify the smell of frankincense though, so now we're getting somewhere, and all these notes in my head are starting to make sense. Right. Stethoscope next, which I have around my neck, which is fantastic. So I can listen to your chest without having to get up really close and use my ear like they used to in the olden days. Hopefully, this will be nice and strong and loud and clear, and then we can eliminate that from the list as well. Okay, great. So this is cold. There's nothing I can do. 
I'm going to listen to your chest. Then I'm going to listen on the sides. And then I'm going to listen to your back. Okay, so listening to heart and lungs. Ten points for me. Right, so. I'm ready. Try and warm it a little bit, never works. So, listening to your chest first, okay? Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, good. Strong beat. sides now. Okay, ready? Just breathe normally. Good. Good. This side. Okay, ready? Okay, good. Fantastic, and just quickly round the back. Okay, ready? This side first. Take a deep breath in for me, please. And hold. And breathe out. Thank you. Now this side, same again, ready? So, deep breath in and hold and out. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I was holding my breath with you then. Oh, gosh. Well done for doing that, that was tricky. Okay. Fantastic news. I'm tangled in my stethoscope. Fantastic news. Heart and lungs sound amazing. You could do a music track to the beat of that heart. It's wonderful. So, eyes looking fantastic. Pupils doing as they should. Little red eye. Ears felt okay. Sounds were fab from the tuning fork. I also put one on your head for reasons unknown. Okay, that's great. What came after that? You couldn't smell the frankincense. There's still a question mark over that one. Or you, okay, so you could, but you couldn't identify it. Okay, so that's tricky. But then, strong beating heart and clear lungs. So that's very, very encouraging. Right, so next. I'd like to take your temperature quickly. Perhaps should have done that at the start, but hey. As long as everything gets done, necessarily mind which order. Okay, so. Under the tongue? I wasn't really giving you the option, that would have been weird. So what I'll do is I'll hold it for you, just for a few seconds. And then we'll check. You don't have a high temperature. Okay, ready? So, open nice and wide for me. That's great. Just hold it there. Just a few seconds while it does its thing. Great stuff. Almost there. Thank you. You don't have a temperature. That's also good news. Right, so. I'm never going to forget my pen again. 
eyes. Fantastic. Pupils doing as they should. Red eye looking awesome. Ears feeling good. Listening really well. Tuning fork on top of the head. Frankincense question mark. Heart beating beautifully. Lungs as clear as clear. Temperature normal. Excellent. Okay, so raise your arms up for me. No, this is medical, no selfies this time. And down for me. Up again for me. Down. Wiggle your feet for me one at a time. I ought to look at your feet. One more time for me, please. Okay, good. I'm going to pop my hands on your shoulders. And I'd like you to shrug them for me. I'd imagine either when I put my hands on your shoulders or I take my hands back, you'll hear my shoulders. It's a little interactive. So, when you're ready, raise your shoulders for me, please. Nice. One more time. Fantastic. And then finally, Move that face for me. So, big frown. Big frown as if you're mad at something. As if something's just not gone your way today. Mm -hmm. Big smile, as if it all turned out fine in the end. Marvellous. Stick your tongue out. Hands behind my back. Stick your tongue out again and wiggle it from side to side for me, please. A fun. Okay. And finally, scrunch your eyes up as tightly as you can for me, please. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. And open them for me. How's that? Okay, good. Right. So, there we go. Let's recap. So, you came in here today feeling unwell, and I've done a basic check for you. You can probably tell me, would you like to go through it? So, one more time. Your eyes are fantastic. They do everything they should and more. And they even turn red when I shine a very bright light to the back of them. Your ears are amazing. They do everything they should and more. I would suggest perhaps seeing a, an audiologist or someone like that to just have a quick look inside, somebody who has an otoscope. Then, tuning fork, we listened beautifully to that. You balanced it perfectly on your head. We've got a great selfie. Next, well, you could use this as your profile picture. See, it's just an extra service that we provide, <laughs> sometimes. Um, we then couldn't identify the smell of frankincense. However, I do take on board that perhaps if you haven't smelt it before, it might be difficult to identify. But tell you what, tell you what, take it with you. You can use it sort of in, a, in an oil burner at home, something like that. And then you'll get used to the fragrance. So next time you're in the situation, it won't be embarrassing for you when you can't identify it, right? Fantastic. Your heart is good. 
It sounded fantastic. A little dance to that. Your lungs were nice and clear, so there's nothing there that's a problem. You had good motion in your arms and your feet when I managed to look. You had strength in your shoulders. You were able to move your face and follow my instructions beautifully, so I don't think there's anything neurological going on, okay? Do you have any questions for me? Okay, so I have one more question for you though, okay? So I took your picture earlier, which was great. You've had fun here today, right? I wonder if we should maybe connect on socials. What do you think? I think it would be fun. I can send you the picture as well. So, I mean, if not, what I can do is I can, I can go on the system anyway. I can get your phone number and do it that way. Would that be better? Would that be easier? Okay, fab. Well, to be honest, what I'll do is I'll book you a follow-up. It won't be with me, unfortunately. I'm not in the next few days. Come back and see one of my colleagues. They might do some further tests for you, take some blood, things like that. And hopefully get to the bottom of what's wrong with you because, you know, I just don't know. So I really hope that soon somebody can sort you out. But in the meantime, you want to get, head out, get some dinner, something like that? If you're well enough, feel up to it. Be fun, right? Mm. Shall we then? Let the let me go and find a pen and put everything on the computer and then, uh, then we'll head out. Yeah? Excellent. Right. Let me finish this. Give me five minutes. Go sit down in the waiting room. I will be done in a jiffy. Okay? Fab. I'll see you in five.